Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. We have day seven of self-isolation. I'm still here. We are still streaming. We are still trading. Everything is still going on here. Today is Monday. We close now the weekly candle as you can see here in the green. Better than I expected. But today now the markets are crashing again. We have Asia, Europe, SMI, everything is crashing again. Maybe not that much as the last couple of weeks, but also everything is on a red and we are still bleeding. And I think that also when the S&P will open, probably also here we're going to see a red day. So let's wait what will happen as soon as the US markets is uh, opening. Until then, now, of course, we're doing our daily TA. So what I'm seeing right now is a potential new distribution of money. So, of course, now everyone is selling into fiat, into cash, because uh, we want to be ready for this crisis. For any case, you have your money that you can use to buy food, to buy whatever you need, medication to survive this crisis and this virus. Also, because lots of businesses are shutting down right now. So everyone is trying to get as much money as they can out of everything they have invested or they still have uh, gains. And what will happen next is that even when the crisis is over or even before the crisis is over, people will sit on a bunch of cash. And because cash, you can print as much as you want. The people hopefully will realize that in time before everything will start to skyrocket again. Everything you see here, all the stocks, gold, cryptos, etc. Everything will start to skyrocket as soon as the people are confident again as soon as they earn money again as soon as they realize that money can be printed as much as the banks wants then people will start to put their money again into assets like stocks gold cryptos and so on and hopefully with this new distribution of money that will be happening after the crisis or at least after the people are going back into businesses then i think most of the people will realize and hopefully they will realize that Bitcoin is the only answer of this whole economic fiasco that we are seeing right now. And it's not necessary that everyone is investing in crypto, but for sure lots of people that are cashing out right now, at least they have heard about Bitcoin or crypto, or they are gonna put just a little bit of their money into crypto. And this, in my opinion, will cause the next huge big bull run. Not only for the people that are already in the space right now, but once everything starts to skyrocket, some people that cashed out right now from stocks, from gold and so on, they will look also closer into Bitcoin. And that's why we have right now still to DCA into Bitcoin, even though we are still in this crisis and even though we could go down to 1K, 2K, 3K, whatever, we just have to DCA and be ready once we're taking off that our portfolio is already full stacked. And till we are getting into this point, I think we still need a lot of days or possibly weeks and months before we're going to be in this stage. And uh, while we are waiting this to skyrocket, of course, we can use this time and also trade over on Bybit, of course, with uh, small leverage and small amounts. So we can additionally gain some more bitcoins uh, with these swings that we are seeing right now these pumps and dumps all the time and of course we also have to be ready for the next bull run and hopefully be in a perfect long position so we can take as much gains as we can uh, with us so we can start today with a weekly time frame because as i told you before we closed successfully above the 200 weekly moving average so so far everything is good the next step would be to touch here the 20 weekly moving average at 8000 and also the 20 daily moving average which is also in this area up here of eight thousand dollar so let's see if we can go to test this moving average or possibly even close above those moving averages and right now at least technically we should have now the 200 weekly as support here at 5570 i still think we could go lower but as long as we're closing the weekly candles above everything should be fine i was expecting to close like the other important stocks or in 
indexes way below the 200 weekly moving average but bitcoin hold here this moving average and so far everything looks good let's see if we can keep up with this uh, price development here and of course here we have the rsn stochastic oversold so we have here a lot of fuel to the upside if bitcoin decides to go up because i see a very stable and good healthy bitcoin when the stock markets are closed we are not seeing big dumps or pumps so everything should be okay with bitcoin right now only when the stock markets are opened especially the s p 500 then i see always a high correlation into bitcoin but as soon as the markets are going to close again the water cools down and everything is coming back to normal and bitcoin is kind of floating or pumping when the stock markets are closed so for me this is a good sign let's see how it's going to be in the next couple of days and weeks and hopefully bitcoin will also decouple from the stock market that would be the most bullish thing and that's why i'm hoping that all the exchange trading are gonna close sooner or later because i think that's the only way to get out of this mess for the stocks right now so let's go quickly over to the bollinger band here in the weekly because here you can see that we're still trading here at the bottom area so we have a lot of fuel to the upside the middle area here is at around 8k and this is what i'm hoping to reach at least this week so we have maybe some signs that bitcoin could be starting to decouple from the rest of the markets but we still have a lot of resistance above of us so i don't think we will go straight there we have to analyze also where are the next uh, possible resistance lines also here you see that the macd shifted to the downside but of course if we're gonna have a bullish week and maybe even test the 8k this could change uh, very quickly here and also the macd is shifted to the downside now for quite some weeks so let's wait and hope that here we can have a bullish cross in the weekly as well so let's go over to the daily time frame here on the bitstamp chart because here you can see that we are still getting rejected from the 20 daily moving average we're still trading below and also here you see that the rsi is still below the 50 level stochastic is overbought so here in the daily it looks like that we could be in here for a retest of this previous fib line here of 5300 and maybe even possible go lower that is possible in my opinion and uh, let's uh, wait and see if we go over to the bollinger band in the daily we are trading also below the middle area so below six thousand seven hundred dollar the macd had a bullish cross here let's see if this is valid so far we could be in here for a bounce to the upside towards six thousand seven hundred but of course it's also possible that we're gonna lose all the supports and drop down again towards three thousand eight hundred dollar i think that is very likely and now it's also possible here in the bollinger band here we overshooted it to the downside and then retraced back here into the middle area so i think there is still room here for a leg down here towards three thousand eight hundred dollar i think that is very likely and also remember that we have a future gap down at around three thousand seven hundred dollar so there is a high chance that we maybe even go first down to close that gap before we start the pump that is very likely so we have to see i'm still trying to short because i still think uh, even though we crashed uh, overnight now from uh, 6100 ish down to 5800 but i still think we have a lot of room to go to the downside and also here in the four hour you can see that since we are now trading below the 20 moving average this line is now a resistance so i don't think we will go higher than 6k in the next couple of hours and days in case that we're gonna have a pump here and get rejected again from the 20 moving average in the four hour i'm gonna open a short here at 6k and write it down but you see that the 50 moving average in the four hours giving us support so most likely we're gonna squeeze out here before a uh, breakout to the upside or to the downside so i'm watching a bit these two moving averages here rsi is trading along the 50 stochastic is in oversold but probably coming back into neutral territory i think we're gonna trade in this area here of around 5800 hundred for a couple of hours more till we're gonna see here break out to the downside or not it is possible that we are right now in this downwards moving channel but we still need a bit more data so we can go quickly also to the bollinger band in the four hour because here we are also trading at the bottom area there is of course a high chance that we see a pump towards the middle but i think that the momentum now is shifted to the downside and also the macd is shifted to the downside so i'm expecting another dump pretty soon here and here in the one hour you can see that we could be in this potential downwards moving channel which could take us down here to 5260 before a pump or a continuation of this crash down to possibly 4k and lower 
So I'm watching here a bit this uh, channel in case that you want to uh, short and long here. It's a bit risky, of course, but I'm still looking more here to short. So in case here of a breakout towards 6K, I'm probably gonna trying to get a short up here at 6K. Maybe even a 5,900 wouldn't be a too bad entry where the 20 moving average is lining up here in the one hour. You see that the stochastic is in neutral territory and now the RSI is trading below the 50. So as long as we're trading everywhere below the 15 the RSI even here in the one hour we are clearly shifted to the downside and I would look now for short and not too long at least not yet I want to look for a good long entry but I think right now it's still too early to open up a uh, long term uh, long to write this thing up once it's gonna be skyrocketing so let's wait till we're gonna have the perfect condition to open those longs. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you want, you can join later the live stream over on uh, Twitch. You'll find the invitation link down below here in the video description. Also the Discord trading chat invitation link you find down below here. The chat is completely for free and everyone is uh, welcome. Just click here and join it. Here we are discussing all our trades, opinions, everything about crypto. So make sure to join our, also the Discord trading chat. And if you need a Bybit or Femex account, with my invitation links you can get some free money that you can use to trade completely riskless on the exchange Bybit or Femex. On Femex now you can also trade gold with your Bitcoin and on Bybit of course also some other altcoins. So make sure also to use the links down below here to get also this free bonus money. And of course don't forget to give a like and also subscribe to the channel. We do daily TA videos and also you can participate to my $10 Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 100 subscribers. So so thank you very much for watching guys, thank you for your support and we will see us later in the live stream. Bye!